This is question 31 from the 2015 HSC. So the question says that valid serial numbers for a device must be five characters in length. Start with a hash symbol, contain three digits, and end with a hash symbol. For example, hash 123 hash is a valid serial number. It has five digits. Sorry, it has five characters, starts with a hash, ends with a hash, and has three digits in the middle. Okay, so if we look at the algorithm, line two says, input serial number and store the characters in the array of characters called serial. So this input serial number means the user is entering that number. Okay, so with that information then, once they enter that number, store the characters in the array of characters called serial. This indicates there is a variable array called serial. So in my serial array, if let's say hash123 hash was the input, it would be stored in serial array after line 2, looking like this, hash123 hash. Position 1 contains hash, position 2 contains 1, etc. Okay, and valid is false, so valid is a boolean, which is also, um, I guess we're going to use as a flag in this pseudocode. Then we have an if statement, so this checks, okay, if length of serial number is 5, and serial is, or serial 1, so the first character is hash. So do you see how length of serial number is five? Okay, so we can tick off. It's checking that, five characters in length. And serial one is hash, okay? Which rule does this condition match? I would say it matches the second one. Start with a hash symbol because serial one would be the start character, right? Now, um, then it goes in for counter equals 2 to 5. If serial counter is a digit, then, so th what happens with execution of the for loop is because it's a counting loop, um, for counter, this counter is inbuilt. Do you see how we didn't have to initialize a counter variable? Because using a counting loop, the counter is inbuilt, okay, um, and that's why it's called a counting loop. And also note, you can start the counter anywhere; it doesn't have to default at one. So we can say we could say for counter equals fifty to a hundred, as long as the start number is less than the maximum. That's it's fine. Um, so then it will step; it will count from two to five. So the first time for count equals 2 to 5, um, counter is 2. If serial 2 is a digit, so for this one let's say, serial 2 is 1, it's a digit, correct. So that's true, then valid equals true. Okay, great. Next counter. Counter is still not 5 yet, so now we increment counter. This next counter incremented, which is now 3, is not um, 5, so if serial 3 is a digit, 0, 3, ah, it's, it is, it is a digit, valid equals true. Next counter, so now counter is 4. If 0, 4 is a digit, yes it is. Then valid equals true. Next counter, now counter is 5. If 0, 5 is a digit, no it's not. Oh dear, so it's false. Okay, end if. Sorry, next counter, now counter is 6. Ah, it's no longer. It's, it's reached 5, so we're going to exit. And end if, if serial 5 is not hash, it is hash. But see how valid is still set to false from here? Then display valid. Okay, so now we've kind of understood the purpose of this pseudocode. Let's try and answer question 1. So it says, let's check the algorithm using the serial number hash 1k3 hash as input. So, 
To do a desk check, we need one column per variable. So if you wanted to, yes, we could say serial number is a variable here. So we can start with that. I'm going to start further along here because I'm concerned I will run out of room. Serial number. And we all know serial is my array of characters. Ah, now because serial is an array of characters, I can, oops, I can demonstrate this. I can kind of represent this using I know my array has one, two, three, four, five, will have five characters. I can use the index and I'll put serial up here. Put serial up here and then What's the next variable I come across? Valid. Valid. Length of serial number. Okay, I don't need to store that. Zero one, yeah, that's fine. Counter is my next variable. So remember, with a desk check, we are really just tracking the changes in the variables to identify any logic errors. So I think that's it. Yep, that's all the variables I need. So I didn't really need to start all the way over there, but anyway. What's done is done. Okay, let's step through this. Input serial number. So my input is this guy, right? 1k3 hash. All right, hash 1k3 hash. Store it into the array. So hash 1k3 hash. Um, valid is false. So I can write false here. Counter. Okay, now, um, yes, length of serial number is 5 and serial 1 is hash. Okay, we will enter in here for counter equals 2. If serial 2 is a digit, yes, it is. And then valid is true. So we'll change that to true. Um, next counter. So next counter makes it 3. Now, if serial 3 is a digit, serial 3 is not a digit. No, so it's going to go valid equals false. Um, next counter. E next counter is 4. If 0, 4 is a digit. Yes, it is. 0, 4 is 3, so it is a digit. Then valid is reset to true again. Now, in now, you know, you really should, I mean, like, at this point, we begin to realize there is an error here. Okay, firstly, when we step through it with a valid um, serial number, it showed that valid was false. Oh, by the way, I forgot my output column. In my desk check, I always need to end with output. Okay, so um, now that just then when we identify k as um, not a digit then this whole serial number is false like we don't we don't need to go check these two anymore but this goes ahead and continues so in any way in any case we just need to complete our desk check even though we know there's an error so now valid is true okay then it's going to go next counter now it's five at five where are we it's going to ask is it a digit no it's not so again it's false and then next counter makes it 6, and it's no longer going to be continuous. So end if, if serial 5, serial 5 is not a hash, then value is false. Nothing happens because we don't go into this if, display valid, so the output is false. And that is the completion of my desk check.